One of the things that was a shift in how I was conceptualizing AI or, AI or somewhat of a shift, and I've done some reading prior to your book as well, was your description, which you mentioned before, of this isn't something we created, this is something we grew, which is very different from other technologies. I don't know how this laptop works, but the person who engineered it knows how it fits together and has a predictable like, idea of what it's going to do if I push this button or that button. AI is totally different from that. And I think is useful your way of conceptualizing it as basically like we created these sort of alien beings and are intentionally racing towards trying to make them vastly more intelligent than we are. Can you speak a little bit to that for people who haven't conceptualized it in that way and why that creates a more profound risk than people may realize? Yeah, absolutely. As you say in your laptop, if something goes wrong, if there's a, an error or a crash, there's a programmer who could, in principle, trace that down and say exactly what happened. They know what every line of code means. They could fix it, right? When an AI threatens a reporter, which started happening a couple of years ago, when an AI in the lab tries to escape, which we've seen in some lab conditions, we don't know exactly what's going on. Maybe it's sort of role playing. We can't tell because these things are grown. But when an AI tries to escape, when an AI encourages a teen to commit suicide, Nobody can go in and find exactly some line of code that caused that to mm -hmm. happen. It's not like there's some bug in the human handcrafted lines where they can say, oh, whoops, I didn't know that this would have that interaction, right? These, the way modern AI is made is we take a huge amount of computing power and a huge amount of data, and there's a known process for tweaking the numbers inside the computers in a, to, to better predict the data. But this runs for a huge amount of time these things can take a year to train. We understand the process for tweaking the numbers. Mm -hmm. What comes out the other end, completely opaque. Mm -hmm. There are people who are trying to understand what's going on in there, and they're making small amounts of progress. But the progress they're making is very slow compared to how fast these AIs scale up. And we're already seeing signs of AIs doing things nobody wanted, doing things nobody asked for. And we're seeing signs that the people who would like to be in charge can't point these AIs where they would like to point them. You have the case of uh, Elon Musk's XAI and their Grok chatbot, which was speaking too liberal for their tastes. So they tried to make it speak you know, less woke. And then it started declaring itself Hitler. Mm -hmm. right? <laughs> yeah. On neither end of that spectrum, presumably, was where they wanted the AI to be. But these aren't programmers carefully crafting things exactly as they want. These are people sort of growing a whole new type of entity that they have very little direction over.